Alrighty, y'all. Hello, and welcome back to a long-awaited video. Finally getting to some serious speed in this one. As you might know, about a month or two ago, I don't know how fast it's been, uh, I took a look at high-speed rail, you know, trains in Europe, and of course, they're freaking awesome, right? Really sleek, really cool, and uh, well fast and you might already know that here in the u.s uh trains you know we might do big cargo trains and uh you know cross country trains you know that type of deal uh freight pretty well but when it comes to passenger rail high speed passenger rail dude we've we've got to be like dead last <laughs> it's like it's like humiliating uh our you know our stance on that kind of deal but anyway, looking at regular clips of people standing and recording these trains flying by, it was absolutely thrilling and eye-opening. And uh, so there's still much more to learn about this, but everyone pointed to, hey, you got to take a look at, uh, I believe it's like the TGV, right, in France, which I believe stands for the Train à Grande Vitesse or something like that. Uh, probably horrible pronunciation. My bad. But yes, let's get right into this. These will be linked down below. Any clips we use here. The one I screened that everyone suggested to me, of course, has music in it. And YouTube has been cracking down on any music. So I'm going to have to mute parts of it ahead of time so I don't have any issues. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, this should be actually pretty cool. This is all I've seen in the first few seconds. And it does have music. So bummer. Uh, so anyway, this was in 2007, I believe. And I don't believe this is a speed they do every day, uh, but more of to show the capability of what it can do. 25,000 horsepower. Whoa, I didn't realize we were playing with that. Wow. I mean, these high-speed rails are impressive just in their day-to-day -day, uh, duties, but the fact that you can really get these... I, whatever is involved, right? Get these tuned up essentially and get them ready for this extreme high speed. Pretty, uh, pretty mind blowing, if you ask me. Yeah, so this music. And uh, like I said before, these videos, I didn't realize. I, I guess I had always heard generically, like that, like Japan has high speed trains, and I always just only associated that with them. But apparently Europe and especially France, uh, I believe like Spain too. I mean, you guys can let me know. I mean, you, you guys got it really going on with high-speed rail as well, which is pretty, pretty fun to find out. They're getting all posted up, as you would hope. This is a pretty famous moment. There is the train that's going to put into work. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Literally looks like a silver bullet. Wow, how freaking cool, dude. Those wheels are about to be spinning real fast. Isn't that crazy? Look at these guys. Brave. They're definitely brave, in my opinion. They're probably going to have a lot of fun. They're obviously, I would assume, the right men for the job, but you know they got to be a little bit, little bit uh, freaked out. A little bit, right? Here we go. No music here. Oh, there it's departing. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, boy. Damn, that thing's actually freaking cool looking. Wow. Look at all the people. This was, I'm pretty sure this must have been a really big deal, right? That they planned for, or like people knew about ahead of time. I'm sure they were announcing this on the news and wherever, right? People had a chance to, uh, you know, travel wherever they needed to and get a good vantage point for this. <laughs> Look at that plane's already. Oh, look at that. That's a cool. Is that like a jet? 
Dude, this thing's already cooking. It's already cooking. Beautiful landscape, too. What a cool setting. 360 already. I'm assuming, uh, this is definitely kilometers per hour, right? Holy crap. They're already at 400. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. 480. Okay, that thing is freaking flying. Dude, that's is that's real, right? Okay, that is insane. That's frightening almost. Look at all that. <laughs> Oh my god, look at those. This is so impressive. It'd be so freaky though going that fast. Damn, I gotta have music, man. Why? I wanna hear this thing. We do have a couple clips without music, so don't worry, please. Stay another minute till after this. 565. Holy crap. I don't think camera can really justify this either. Oh my goodness, man. Okay. Can you imagine the velocity Wait, if you're standing on this bridge right here? Can you imagine that thing literally freaking flying by you flying underneath you holy crap that's insane dude a little more they're pushing they're at 574 <laughs> it's like keep going yo these guys are freaking courageous man jeez Après contrôle et validation, la valeur officielle de la vitesse atteinte dans notre marche est de 574,8 km. 574 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Jeez, I may not be a uh, you know metric expert, right? Us Americans, I don't have to be a kilometers per hour driver to know that that's fast as. F <laughs> 574 kilometers per hour to miles per hour 356.6 so round up 357 357 miles per hour just shy of 600 kilometers per hour that is freaking nuts and this was in 2007. This was not yesterday. This was not last year. This was what? 17 years ago? Almost 20 years ago. That's insane. Uh, is this going to be broken? I don't feel like this is going to be broken anytime soon. Maybe for a really long time or ever. Hell yeah, that deserves a round of applause. Bravo. What a performance. Can you imagine how awesome that felt? How scary that felt, but how awesome that felt. Let's see what this really looks like. Okay, so we have a first clip here. There should be no music. Actual real world sounds, sights and sounds. Supposedly, this was captured at when it was at 553 kilometers per hour. So really close. An insane rate of speed. Here we go. Volume up. You can hear that thing coming from a mile away. <laughs> Holy crap! What on earth? <sighs> that
that's actually insane. As a car guy, as someone who's you know, had the privilege of racing on track before, I've gone really, uh, not really, like compared to even some people, but I've gone 150 miles per hour in a car before on a track. It was a Nissan GTR. So that's 241. Now, I know each vehicle is different too. So, of course, going speeds in a train is different versus a car, is different versus a boat, is different versus a truck, blah, blah, blah. But hear me out. I've gone 150 or 240 kilometers, right, per hour, and that felt really freaking fast. That's get real. I don't count planes because I've gone faster on planes. I think all of us have. If you've been in a plane, you've gone really fast. But unless you're literally on takeoff where it throws you back, you ain't feeling it. Once you're in the sky, I, to me, it doesn't feel like you're going fast because you're literally so far into the sky and there's no points of reference around you right so that's just like a whole different thing but when you're on a train you're literally on these rails right you are on the ground you're on the rails you're in you know essentially a car i mean trains are kind of like big cars right that are just on a fixed position holy smokes that has got to be insane like there's no other way to describe it the clips I saw of normal day-to-day -day operation of these things flying by at crazy speeds that are probably less than half of what this was. They looked crazy. This is on another level. Here's another point of view. That's literally nuts. The sound it makes is pretty vicious. <laughs> because you know what the sound of that is? That is a true sound of velocity, right? Speed is actually scary. When you see it hear that. Oh my God. And look at like the dust and it's kicking up. Like, dude, that thing is hauling ass. Look at that thing, it's freaking flying! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That is so freaking insane. Damn, France, well done. Everyone involved. Uh, honestly, all of Europe, well done. Dude, America doesn't even have, they, they, they don't, America does not have a foot in this race at all. They just don't. Why can't we do that? Damn. That's insane. Very impressive. So yeah, here's the quick breakdown. The French TGV holds a world record for fastest commercial train on steel wheels reaching. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. That's still kind of like, it's basically a conventional train. It's very aerodynamic, you know, and, and it's got the capabilities to go fast, but it's still a train on steel wheels. I didn't even think about how some trains are like, uh, I can't remember the name of them. I know the name of them, and I think you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, but the ones are like, that are basically essentially like, look like they're floating, right? They're like magnets or whatever. Um. Oh, I can't believe the name is escaping me. I want to say that's what the Asian trains are, right? But I'm not even, I'm not an expert on this stuff. But anyway, I didn't even think about the fact that it's a normal train on steel wheels and it's going that fast. It's insane. This was on April 3rd, 2007. Okay. Weighed 265 tons. It's also heavy. Like this thing is insanely heavy. It's a solid vehicle and it's going that fast. It's insane. It took 13 minutes to reach the top speed. This record-breaking run took place on the LGB EST railway line. Keep in mind, this was uh, the same train, I guess, that broke a record earlier in the 80s. And then again in 1990. So the French National Railway, the TGV, is operated by SNCF, the French National Railway. And uh, damn, that thing, thing's got some good history. It's got a history of being fast. And breaking records. <laughs> yeah, really handsome, handsome machine. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, I apologize for taking a while to get this out. I've been meaning to look at this for at least a couple months, and I'm glad I finally did. What an absolute demon on the tracks. That thing is freaking cool, dude. Wow. Tell me uh, if you were able to see this. Uh, maybe you saw it on like television. Maybe you saw it on the news. Uh, maybe you were lucky enough to see this in person. I would love to hear about it. And of course, uh, I'm you know I'm under the impression that this is still a normal running uh, rail network, right? So uh, obviously, I don't think they're doing that speed every day, but I'm pretty sure they're doing high speeds, at, you know, in normal operation. So if you've gotten to maybe ride this or ride a train very similar in France, uh, please let me know what that is like. I would love to hear about it. This is just such a foreign concept to me, unfortunately, as an American, because we just do not have it. We do not have anything like this. Our uh, quote-unquote high-speed rail that they say that we have here is very minimal compared to the size of the country. It's extremely minimal. And uh, Amtrak, you know, does not go nearly as fast. Uh, that's it for this one. That's an extreme adrenaline rush. I can't wait to see the comments on this. I really appreciate you watching. Of course, these great ideas. These will all be linked down below if you want to check these clips out. Wow. That's all I got to say. Wow. My name is Ian. You watch the 9W Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.